All right, YouTube, today we're going to run a league of standard Bant Flash. This is what Team Nova played this weekend. Um, it's kind of just a deck that revolves around Teferi and Vivian and how they create like a Flash archetype, sort of, and shut down your opponents. It makes so you play an instant speed and your opponent doesn't. And then it plays behind like mana acceleration. Um, really strong top end creatures like Oketra and Hydra Crisis with kind of Growth Chamber Guardian and Frilled Mystic to kind of hold together that flash aspect. So this deck's supposed to be like a real Nexus killer. So we're going to give that a try tonight as well, see if we can hold on the Nexus and the control decks. No problem, Blair. Thank you very much for your donation. If you would like to be like Mador BF, you can donate to myself or donate to the Barrera Brothers. If you're watching this on YouTube, all their information will be linked below. For a $10 donation, I will play your deck through a league, uh, no matter what it is, mostly. Like, if your deck's a super meme that doesn't work, I'm not going to play it. But if it's, you know, a cool casual deck, then we're going to try that as well. The Creator Tron deck was cool. Like, Karn is really... The, the four... The four the 4-drop Connor is really good. It's a very mid-rangey card. I think it's better than the other Tron decks that I've played. But overall, I was I was a fan. I was impressed by the 4-drop the four Karn. I ran this deck through a couple leagues today, and I've been pretty impressed with it. Um, it struggles a little bit against Mono Red, but like... Boy, does it beat up on the Nexus decks. Like, I missed my third land drop in two straight games after mulliganing and still just, like, mop the floor with my opponents. Okay, so this hand is no mana acceleration, but we have interaction, and we have, like, a two drop that finds more two drops. So I think I'm going to keep this. And, like, our mana is underneath of us. We're going to hit our land drops. You know, this hand's pretty mana hungry. I would like to get better at playing decks like these. Okay, so we can just run our Growth Chamber Guardian into a Shock, which is going to kind of feel bad, but I, like, they have to have exactly Shock, and I don't want to just waste my mana this turn. I could have played a Tap Land, but... All right, well, we're just going to immediately get rid of that Steamkin. White, blue, one. This is definitely is not a permanent removal of the Steamkin, but it is um, at least a hiccup. Like if they go to interact with my creatures, it's it's at least like one less counter. Next turn, I'm probably gonna try to play a Growth Chamber Guardian game with my opponent. I think I'm okay with attacking with both of my creatures here. They get their Steamkin back. I'm just going to attack with my Growth Chamber Guardian, and I'm not going to... If my opponent wants to... I can attack and trade. Or I can just, like, upkeep make the growth chamber guardian large i kind of want to offer the trade because it turns off wizard lightning and that's just like such an efficient removal spell now i'm gonna pass and i'm just gonna try to no this is stupid i'm gonna do it right now i'm gonna make him have wizard's lightning right now because if i just wait then my opponent can have like lightning strike I guess they can also can have shock. All right, that worked. I didn't play around. Like, they, they would still have shock and lightning strike. By doing it right now, and, like, them keeping up one mana isn't that big of a deal. And if I make them do it on their upkeep, it's still... They could have an, another card that punishes me, and it's not that big of a deal. But I should have... But, like... Again, I should have done this before combat. I should have established, like, this is how I want to play this game. 
done it before combat, and then um, and then attacked. So like I've already made some mistakes this game. I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna attack. If my opponent wants to trade multiple spells for this, they can. I do need to start to like put the beat down on my opponent. Play this, play my land, and then I'm going to just, I'm gonna grow it on my opponent's upkeep because I'm not playing around anything by waiting. Play my land, pass to my opponent's upkeep. I guess my light's all messed up. I think I'm just going to take this damage here. And I'm just going to level this up right now. I don't want to give my opponent six cards when they have a runaway Steamkin. Like that just seems like a real losing affair. And that makes me think my opponent has another one. Has another... Uh, another land because that's a good discard to the risk factor. Having all these, having a check land draw is pretty nice. Screw the critics, okay. And I'm just going to take this opportunity to trade with this. They're probably going to kill my growth chamber guardian, but that's okay. I just want to make my trade while I can. They're going to strike me. All right, maybe I should have thought, oh, wow, that's such a sick draw. All right, I'm going to attack. Maybe I should have, I don't know. Gain four life. Play the Guardian. And then I'm going to play a tap land. All of a sudden, we're in the driver's seat now. My opponent only have two cards in hand. They do have some reach in the graveyard. So if they risk factor, it's actually going to be interesting to what I do. And my gut says to take the damage. Because we are attacking for lethal next turn. Like, we're going to force a chump block. And I can, have the, I can like, adapt and then, then adapt again. Oh, I'm going to take it. Because they need running three damage spells in order to kill me. So the card in their hand has to be live, and the card on top of their deck has to be live or they're dead. Okay, so the card on top of your deck live. My opponent attacks, I will just play, I'm just gonna block with Knight of Autumn. And then I'll just probably just six my opponent and play Growth Chamber Guardian. Vivian. Vivian might be nice, because it might find me a um, flash thing off the top. Yeah, that's, that's, I should have gotten that, yeah. I missed that. Because I was like, yeah, I'm at two. I was, I was anticipating what they're going to do here. So I kind of want to play this to dig to a uh, whatever it is. Nope, we didn't get it. I wanted to find the, the counter spell, the Mystic Snake. Any order? Sure. All right, don't kill me. Yeah, I definitely like had a little bit of a miss thought there. All right, we got it. So how did you guys sideboard against mono red? 
when I was playing this earlier, I was cutting all the planeswalkers for like, and I, th I thought I could bring in like a lot of stuff. Like, I had like 11, I think I had like 11 cards I thought I could bring in. 10? No, 11, yeah. Like, I thought all of these were reasonable. Like, enough so that I didn't know what to take out. Or even if you want all of these cards in here. Like, these might not be... But these are still probably good because I can get rid of something. Like, this is what I want to do, but I don't know exactly what to take out. Shalai is great. These are pretty good. Land of War Elves might be kind of medium because of Chain, Wall Chain Whirler, but we want to, like, get up there. Oh, Ketra is also pretty slow, so maybe we can trim, trim one of those. Maybe we just need Land of War Elves in order to propel us up on mana. But also leaving, like, one Land of War Elf in just sounds really bad. Maybe I should just cut a bunch of Oketras. Like, I don't know if I'm over-sideboarding, but, like, this is kind of what I think. Like, the Oketra doesn't really seem like what we want to do against Mono Red. You know? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, this is what my gut tells me to do here. So, I think this is what we're going to do. Having only three Land of Elves feels kind of bad, but like, I don't know, maybe like one Hydro Crassus, but that gains life. Shuts the door in the late game. I'm just going to submit. I don't know if cutting the Oketras is correct or not, but because that's like your mid-range all-star, but they just get, I, I feel like they just get under Oketra unless you have like a really nut, like play it quick draw. Oh, I can't cast Deputy of Detention, but I have Mana Accelerant, but I don't have any... I have a lot of Mana Accelerant, so if I can, you know, double spell quickly. If my Land of War Elf dies, which it probably will, I still have a pretty decent play. Like, I can even trade off my Land of War Elf. I kind of want to keep this hand. We have 21 lands left in our deck. We're on the draw. This Frill Mystic on turn three is kind of important. If we can Frill Mystic like uh, Chandra or a Frenzy. I'm going to keep this hand. Our best draw is like Lyra and Dovin's Veto, I guess. We can't cast them. We have so many mana creatures that are good for this deck. I'm going to keep. And, like, I'm keeping here, and, like, if if someone told me, like, you are wrong because of X, Y, Z, A, B, and C, you should have no milk for the Mystics post-board. Okay. So, like, this is how I sideboarded. Like, I cut the Planeswalkers, the three mana Planeswalkers, and Oketra and a Llanowar Elf, and I brought in, like, everything to gain life. And, like, they interacted. Because I figured that, like, these planes aren't... I didn't think... I thought Oketra was, like, too slow. I mean, it does shut the door quick, which m maybe is good. But I don't know if they... If it's, like... I don't know how to say this. I don't know if Oketra is the game we want to play. So this is just gonna die. So maybe I should just play a tap land. Then they shock me. I'm gonna play it. I'm not gonna play, put land of my deck to not play it on turn one. So one Oketra, every mana dork, no mystics. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, so you're just going for like the quick KO. <coughs> you should have one Oketra, every Mana Dork, no Mystics. And the Planeswalker should be gone. I hope I draw like an untapped land. Basically because you have all tap lands and no good way to catch up with any old dorks. I like something over. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go turn another light on. It's super dark in my house tonight. Okay, we're looking stupid for our triple blue source, blue green source, draw two white cards, draw. But I mean, at least they've used two cards, two different cards to kill mana dorks. I draw a land next turn. I'm gonna light up the stages into Pyromancer, Lava Runner, Tilt. All right. So if I play this, it means I'm gonna be able to untap with it if they want to use both of these cards, unless they have land Wizards Lightning as well or land Shock. So doesn't feel. So it's okay. The home team. It does suck that we. Maybe I should have mulliganed my opener. Three lands, a deputy, a frail mystic, a crisis, and two mana dorks. None of my lands made white. <clears throat> okay, there's a pyromancer. Lava Runner's got haste, which is kind of annoying. Gonna kill my dude too. Wow. All right. All right. So I can play this, just ambush, trade, or I can play Knight of Autumn, gain four life, and try to trade as well. Knight of Autumn's pretty heinous in the face of Chain Whirler, but. I could also just make it a 4-3. Yeah, I kind of actually like making this one a 4-3. Well, if I'm if I gain four life, I'm only punished by Chain Roller or the other stupid card. And then I'm neutral and trade for a card. I'm gonna gain four life. I think that my cards are good enough to where that if I can just survive. Then I'm gonna be okay. And I just wanna like keep going here. If I miss a land drop, I might Crassus. Well now I kinda of wanna deputy that thing. Okay, so they had a shot. Trades for a card. I can see why the Frilled Mystics are bad. Yeah, I think I'm just going to Oh, they hit a light up too. Okay. All right, light up the stage, Chain Whirler. <sighs> Can't double spell. Can't make this a 4-3 this turn. I could just play Phil Mystic and try to beat something in combat. Or I could... Play deputy to impact the board. Deputy picking, taking the steamkin is probably my best play. I'm gonna play this. Yeah, these frilled mystics. I see what's I see what the, all the talk was about with these frilled mystics being medium. I still think I'm going to block this Pyromancer. 
even though I trade, make it so the chain roller eats this. I just don't really want to take four damage this turn. Light up lightning strike, okay. Lightning strike's gonna kill this next turn no matter what. So I might as well just trade with it for the board right now. Though that gives this thing pseudo haste. This is this thing haste. Oh, I'm in a tough spot. Oh, okay. Take two more damage. Next turn, I take three damage, but take one less from this. I'm going to block. Maybe we hit a land and we can crash this. All right. Crash for three puts me up to... Crash two puts me up to uh, 11. Lightning strike, I take six, go to five. If I draw something, I can Knight of Autumn. I mean, I think it's... I think I'm in a pretty tough spot, but it's probably the best I can do. This Frilled Mystic has been absolutely awful. This is the hard part when it's Mono Red. You just can't double spell. Yeah, I see what we're talking about now. We drew another one. I mean, at least I can go Knight of Autumn, Growth Chamber Guardian. Oh, this doesn't die to the Lightning Strike. I, me I messed up when I was... Does die to that Lava Coil, though. So that's two, four, six. I don't know if a Lightning Strike can kill me there. Lightning strike would just kill me. Oh, the land and the lightning strike still doesn't kill me. But I don't think I have a draw next turn. Yeah, we're just dead anyways. I, I boarded that in. It's like, this is what it looks like here. So you're saying like these come out this comes in and then some number of the planeswalkers stay in probably the teferi is the better one then because at least this impacts the board you want one of these in two yeah this is what we're doing yeah that mystic was no bueno. Also, personally, I think that PD sucks here. But what what can you what can you do to supplement that though? Like, while it's not great, is it better than like is just a random Oketra better than it? Is that like like if we're if we're trying to kill them, I can I can sort of get behind that. Like, just like whatever. Like, have cards in our deck that if we draw them, will kill our opponent. I'd rather have more Teferi and more Vivian. So maybe then the three of these is too much. Okay. Do we get in? Do we get it? All right. I guess Vivian's also better if we see our opponent has a bunch of, uh, like, whatever the card is, Lava Coils, because we can, like, play in combat. Which makes like, which just makes lava coil awkward, or we, or we can just kind of blank it. Maybe I should try like that. Maybe a coward and split it. Be non-committal. I'll put on my computer glasses. Wish I was sponsored by Gunner because these glasses are sweet, but I'm not.
Yeah, these were these sucked. It's like, what am I looking to do with these? Like, counter a one mana spell with my four mana card, and then like eat a two mana card creature in combat that's already dealt me like six damage. It's not what we want. Not at all. I really like this. I really like the look of this deck on paper, and I want to play with it more. Because, like, this style of deck is a style of deck that I'm not very good at anymore that I would like to be good at. And, like, the last time that I played Standard for at a team event, because I wasn't comfortable with these kind of decks, I think it ca actually caused me to, like, play a bad deck when I could have played something better. My opponent's 4 I kind of hope, even regardless of what happens, they scoop to me. This hand's sweet. This is a turn three Shalai, which is like what we're talking about. And our hand deals no damage to us. We also could play like Growth Chamber Guardian on two and have Dovin Vito's up. Dovin's Veto up. This hand's sweet. Play our Temple Guard on turn one. Yeah, so I, I think I think me not feeling comfortable with these kind of decks actually did kind of hurt our team at one event. Because, like, I played Is It Drake's, and, like, we just found out that deck wasn't good. And I played it because I was, like, comfortable with it. But I just shouldn't have done that. I should have just, like, I shied away from playing Soul Tide because I was, like, too nervous to play the mid-range mirrors. Because they're, like, very long, drawn out, and complicated. And I was, like, that just doesn't suit my skill set. So I would like to broaden my skill set. Oh. I don't know if you guys can hear, but Philly Boy is snoring up a storm over on the couch next to me. Yeah, I think his hand's really good. Turn four, sh turn three, Shalai, or Growth Chamber Guardian plus Dovin's Veto. Like part of me wants to just run the Shalai out, but I also don't want to get the Shalai Lava Coil because the Shalai is like my ticket to winning if I can get it to stick. So it obviously depends on what I draw. D2 Lava Runner. This is like a celebrity chat from the Grinders cast. Just, all right. I kind of want to be mana efficient, but I think I want to make this a 4 3. Really just don't want to get this chain roller. Oh, nice. What podcast are you going to be the guest on? I'm going to make this a 4 3. Well met. I don't recognize it. Oh, the big Hearthstone one? Gross. Okay. Land. Well, bouncing both of these sucks. That's cool. But I would like to hit a land drop. Basically, if I bounce this, all it does is give me another shot at a land. But if I play Growth Chamber Guardian, it trades. So I think I'm just going to try to trade. Okay. Come on. Ugh. Man. Man. We have two cards. Oh, 
All right, buddy, you got an answer to this? Don't lava coil me, bro. start working through these wizards they got shocking to get me give a shock don't uh. I think I'm gonna go growth chamber guardian So if I, go, if I play Growth Chamber Guardian and I have Dovin's Veto up, I can double spell. And then if I draw, but if I don't have to use it, I can double spell the next turn. Alternatively, I can go to seven and try to trade. I think my opponent's hand is stocked with like four drops. But I really don't want to go to one because then I die to shock. I'm just going to gain four life and hope my opponent's kind of out of gas and I can trade this off. Okay. Maybe I was supposed to just gain four life with the first Night of Autumn because it's still just traded with Wizard Light. Jeez, I'm... I'm in the exact same spot, but worse. Night of Autumn, gain four life. Lose four life, lose five life chump lock. Lose five life in trade. Yeah, that's where we are. I think I'm, I should have gained four life the first time. Because it still just trades with all the same cards. So I'm just going to go to one. Shut off the wizard. Okay. You got it. Hmm. What a beating. Maybe I need to put it in the Explore package and completely change the deck. I saw that conversation on Twitter today. Which, like, I thought was a decent conversation to have. But might have been a little early to have it. So this deck right here that you see is a donation deck list that's going towards the Barrero Brothers uh, Wrestling. They're Canadians who played at my shop back when I used to play in uh, upstate New York. They're wrestlers. They're trying to raise some money in order to cover um, the costs. Canada doesn't support uh, wrestling as much as you know these guys would like like to be. I guess need to be supported. So for a $10 donation, I will play any of your deck through a league. That's what this is tonight. When I get back next week after I'm in Vermont for a wedding, I've got two Legacy Leagues set up. I'm going to play Stoneblade and Rug Delver. So, you know, if donate to a good cause, and then we'll get everything set up for a deck that you want to see on stream later. We're trying to raise 500 bucks this month. Yeah, because they're so much more efficient than I am, which is just hard. All right, we're going to mulligan this. And we're going to keep this. Yeah, so I put the wrong video on, Tyler. I'm going to do that tonight. 
I put like a little, I, I, I'm going to put it on. I've got it on my dashboard right now. It'll be on tomorrow morning though. I'm sorry to have slighted you, Tyler. <clears throat> I will keep my hand. My opponent Mulligan too. What a, what a nice opponent. Uh, we're going to want this. We do just want to hit land drops. Was running 13 miles of your streaming. I almost want to play this tapped because what am I going to do? I guess if I could deputy detention opponent controls and all other non my opponent controls till deputy detention leaves the battlefield. Nah, I'm just going to play it. It's kind of interesting to think about like, you know, what am I going to do with this thing next turn? We're gonna, our opponent's gonna opt here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna attack, play a tap land. This is like a blue, like what Austin Collins was playing, like the blue black um, mid range deck, I guess. Yeah, I, I saw that. You're a big man to be running there, Tyler. I kind of just want to Crassus and then just Cantrip, get on the board. But this is also like my opponent's Thief of Sanity turn. Because if I just pass with this Frail Mystic up, it's just so obvious. But then I guess my opponent can't play into it, then I get to play it. And like Crassus to just Cantrip is kind of mopey. I could also just play Drago and develop my mana. Yeah, I mean, if my opponent's going to go Drago, I have a Hydroid Crisis. Like, now nah, I wish I'd have played it. I'm kind of pretty cool just hanging out in the back foot. I am going to play one of these Frilled Mystics at the end of their turn, though. Opponent wants to kill something. Nope, they don't. Okay. And now I can just pass again because I'm, I'm on the battlefield here. What can they do? I'm going to let this go. Well, no, I'm actually just going to do this because if my opponent has whatever it is, Amit of the God Eternal, it's kind of annoying, but we can Deputy plus Growth Chamber Guardian. If we hit a land, we'll just Crassus. Yeah, that's like a little, that's a little annoying for sure. But we can just clear the way. And like that means that nothing's gonna come back from this deputy. I could have like Crassus to hit a land to set up my next draw. Okay. That would have been a nice one to get rid of. Alright, well now we gotta start running these big man these big guys out here. Alright, no land. Opponent did not miracle anything, which is good. Liliana would, I guess, not really do a lot. Okay. Land. Okay. Shock. Play another Crassus. Now we get two cards out of this one. So we're starting to 
snowball a little bit. Nice. Teferi can bounce this to at least force an attack through. Let me make sure I played my land. I think I played a land because I could, yeah, I could crash this for one more. All right, so that's a game we're winning. If our opponent's contempting, but like all I have to do is hit something sweet off of this Kefnet. Thought Erasure. Ooh, Thought Erasure's really annoying. Because they, they take both of my good cards. What a blowout. I guess I should be thinking about Frill Mysticking the, the Kefnet. <clears throat> now I have to hope to rip. Take my Crassus. I've been punished. All that advantage I have is gone. Play this. I probably should have held that for Oketra. Yeah. Definitely should have held that for Oketra. I should have probably... I mean, I let them know what I drew, but whatever. Should have held the land royale for Oketra. That's annoying. So I guess we don't have many things that draw that many cards. I put Cry of the Carnarium. Which is, you know, kind of a beating. All right, we're flooding out. But I didn't respect the Kefnet, which cost me. Like, I got a little happy on some of the removal spells with my Frilled Mystics. Yeah. I'm just dead here. With this thing's going to start attacking, they're drawing cards a turn. Yeah, that was my fault. Okay, so... I would assume Dovin's Veto is very good. And Vivian Reed is very good. Cards that are probably not great. Knight of Autumn. Unless they have some kind of weird enchantments. I guess they could have the Amass enchantment, but I think we'll outpace that. Um, Shalai is good. Vivian's good. Deputy might not be that good. Because everything just, it just kills, it comes back comes right back like it just it's just gonna bounce something for a short amount of time baffling end is probably decent because of thief of sanity i could just like make my deck better for a long game and just cut land or elves keep him one deputy i'm gonna try this like then we're also supposed to be explosive, but if we're going to play a slightly longer game with our Planeswalkers and draw cards, having one ones for one in our deck is kind of weak. I'm going to try this Oral. Good or not, not sure, but just going to give it a give it a try. <clears throat> what would I like to play first? I would like to begrudgingly keep this hand. We have an Accelerant into, into Vivian, which is really important, but... A hand like this could could get us. We can't cast this. We have to hit lands to have this land work anyways. But it is definitely a little bit of a sketcher. Sometimes I feel like a, like a couple of these games I've wanted like all right. Maybe I wasn't actually either supposed to keep those because they're also forests. And them being forest means they don't cast anything, actually. Drawing a hollow fountain would be the nut. Drawing a hollow fountain would still be the nut. All right. Yeah, I was probably just a mulligan in my hand. I've just been outplayed, though, also. And 
Like, my opponent, I, I didn't counter the right things with Frilled Mystic. Marset's good. And I lost that game. This game, like, I kept a hand that was maybe I shouldn't have kept. I drew Contempt. My Angel and Harbor at least lets me play this and get a creature out of it before my opponent kills it. All right, it's a creature. It's going to take a while to cast. But if I draw a land, at least well, I can't even do it because of the Narset. Big brain from our opponent here. Shutting us off lands. All right, come on. God, I wish I could take lands. I'm getting beat up here, but I think it's, I think I just should have mulligan my hand. And that'll come by playing the deck more. Like my hand, maybe if my hand's like two colored lands, I can keep. But all right, I yield. Um, no, they have a Vraska's Contempt also. Like we can't even cast. Yeah. All right, that was my fault. I think I, I think I actually just pitched both of those games, which is a little frustrating. Starting out poor. I did really well in my first league with this deck, but. Starting out a little poor, and I think I think I just haven't played like I haven't been up to par enough to win, which has been a bit of a beating. But the mono red matchup, I, I sideboarded wrong because I'm a little new, didn't exactly know what I should be putting in there. But I think I was outplayed by getting too happy with the removal spells and um, not respecting a Kefnet from my opponent. So, this is a reflection on me, not my opponent, not my deck. I tweet about streaming a deck, and then I immediately start O2 with it. What a, re what a representation. I do like this deck, though. It's it's like it does some cool stuff and like what it what it does is like exactly what I want to improve with while playing Magic. I want to play this deck and work on it more here. Yeah, we got a tap land, but we can play our we'll play the old turn two noble hierarch game. Just want to get out on the battlefield. Like, Hierarchon 2 is not great, but, or Elves, excuse me, but it's what we've got. Okay, so if I just go Shock, hit, hit, I can counter Chain Roller. I'm kind of in for. I guess I didn't even have to shock, but like I'm just saying, like I'm assuming they had, they killed one of our land or elves, then I wouldn't be able to do it. Not gonna block. That is just asking for it there. Yep. Lava run out of the lightning strike. My opponent keep they keep the one land light up hand. No. Skewer, that's okay. Just gonna counter anything. Like we know they're gonna play things next turn. So we can get something out of our frilled mystic at least. Uh, green, green, blue, blue. I 
think I'm going to Teferi bounce this next turn if I don't hit a land drop. If I do hit a land drop, I'm just going to go to Chamber Guardian into pass. I might just block and trade, though. Yeah, I'll probably just trade. It's really nice that we got that Lava. We got rid of that. They should have just, like, played the Lightning Strike because they could also play the Lava Runner. Because now they just lost their two cards, which isn't great. They didn't want to trade. I'm just going to play this. It's a 2-2. Two -two. It's like the same thing as playing Teferi and Cantripping. But this comes along with a battle. With a, with a body. And I hit a land drop. Nice. I'm going to attack. Start the beat down. If we hit another land. Yeah. So my opponent's looking to trade off. I think we're the beat down. Now at least. My opponent has a frenzy here. We should at least just bounce it. Alright, so they get my get my duder. Alright, so let's just do this again. We'll deny him the trigger. Because if we just bounce to fairy, then it just dies, but we also get a land. How's it going, Teddy? Steamkin. We can bounce that. That's a good card to bounce. <coughs> Fanatical Firebrand. Not, not a great card to bounce. But I can bounce the, the Runaway Steamkin and then play the Land War Elf and make my opponent choose between... Killing the elf or killing the. Well, now we're just going to play Growth Chamber Guardian. Is this going to play untapped? Yeah, it does. So we play this. Let's bounce this. We're going to. We draw a card, and then this thing can kill it. But, like. I guess I could also just play Growth Chamber Guardian in pass. Or, no. Uh, pumped it. But if they have a shock, then that, that doesn't turn out that great for me. But, uh, they increase my they increase one of my scholarships, which is a highlight. Nothing matters. I'm kind of stuck. Yeah, that's tough. Now I want to play Incubation Druid. I don't want. I want to like play the Growth Chamber Guardian when I can activate it. I'm gonna attack with both of these. I'm not blocking the chain whirler. My opponent can do like firebrand block. Like this Teferi, you know, cycled, reset, made a land drop, did its job. Okay, so my opponent's got a spectacle card to play. Wizards Lightning targeting me, okay. One, two, three, play Vivian. I still just want to tick up, play Growth Chamber. One, two, three. Kind of just want to play Growth Chamber Guardian. Level it up. I should attack with one of these probably. Because I'll try to... Like this will be a good blocker. I'm going to attack with one of my Hydroid Crassus. I have to get in here a little bit. Maybe it's better to play the Vivian. But I would like to make this a 4-4 right now. Before my opponent gets to kill it. And I'll just play the elf also. It's not the biggest thing on the battlefield, which is nice. This Growth Chamber Guardian is pretty good against Mono Red. All 
right, nice. Just kind of pulling away with the game, which is sweet. We draw land, which land's good. We found Filled Mystic. So Filled Mystics come out. These come out. One, one, two. Bring in these. And these. And the Knight of Autumns. Knight of Autumns feels so bad against Burn sometimes. Because, like, you just play it and you gain four life and they chain roller it away. And you're just kind of like, what am I doing? All right, I'm definitely going to play an elf on one, I think. Because even if they kill it, we can go with another dork. Yeah, I'm just going to play an elf on, elf on one. Get the blue mana untapped. Yeah, we figured that was, that was going to happen. They attack, light up the stage. Oh, one lander. The old one lander Rooney. All right, well, there's our way to win. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that, Teddy. That always kind of sucks. All right. I think we learned from our last matching with Mono, playing against Mono Red. That it is always good to gain the life with this. Because making it a 4-3 doesn't do anything. I'm getting beat up, but I'm having fun. I'm 0-2 in this league. Yeah. So we gain a life. We can play Teferi and bounce this next turn if we need to hit a land drop, which we probably will need to. Light up. What do I get? Mountain. That's kind of good. They were short on land, so now I can bounce this and at least get something out of it. Or I can crash this for two. I'm going to crash this for two because it, it represents like a card. Uh, it hasn't been too long. Okay, so now we can play the Ketra next turn, which is going to, you know, pull away with the battlefield pretty quickly. The fact that it lit up into those two lands was really good. I'd like to draw a two drop so I can go to Fairy Bounce. Play a two drop also, because like this Steam Kid's likely going to get out of control pretty fast. But they might just. Like, not have an answer to this Ketra. We are at 16. Deputy would be nice. My opponent doesn't have anything. Okay, yep, yeah, we get shocked. All right, now let's just play the Eketra. Because it's the biggest thing on the battlefield. It's going to be really hard for my opponent to get through this. And if I find something to play off of, like, the Vivian. All right. Then it's going to hold up. The attacking through this is going to be nearly impossible really fast. Just gonna block the four four. Because if they want to grow this one, they can with just a removal spell. It's gonna be very bad. My opponent kills the Soketra. So maybe I'm supposed to take there, but take seven, but it's just a lot of damage to take. Alright, let's start off with this. I'm gonna go down with it. That's the nut. Do 
gain four life, make a four four. Hold off because we can get start giving it vigilance next turn. Chain whirler, yep, yeah, chain whirler gets my knight of autumn. That's just how it be sometimes. Also kills gets rid of partially gets rid of this. I attack with this I'm at least gonna get two creatures out of it and then I can bounce another creature and I'll just redraw this next turn but I do think it's actually worth attacking here because I think over here here I trade here here to go here here I only get one I guess get this reset this I should have played Teferi before combat. I'm going to wait. I should have played Teferi before combat. Because if I draw here and hit a creature I want to cast, I could have made a 4-4, four four, which might have made my attack better. Yep, that was a mistake on my part. <clears throat> But I think we're gonna win. Kindling Phoenix, okay. That's annoying, for sure. It's a tough card to handle. This makes me wanna play the three drop O-ring. Deputy, nice. That's a really good pickup. Any order. Let's play this, pick this up. I can actually attack with this. So let me cast this first. Get this, make myself a 4-4. Four, four. Can actually just attack with this and this because double block here we trade this trades with one of them which just makes the board more manageable then I tick up and I just play a tap land let's get rid of the first striker play a tapped blue land tick up and then pass man this is Oketra whoo They still, if they remove the deputy detention, I'm in trouble. Just because, um, just because, like, if they get their rekindling phoenix back, which is just a hard card to handle at this junction of the game. I'm just going to trade here if I get the opportunity. D2 Lava Runner, okay. Still going to trade if I get the opportunity. What am I doing here? If I attack here, I'm still trading quite a bit. So I think I'm still just going to attack. This still checks. Maybe I should keep the Oketra back. That puts a lot of pressure on my opponent. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack with both of these. Like this is six. This is like a double block any way you look at it to get rid of. Okay, my opponent just takes it. Plus one, play a tap blue land. We're definitely putting putting uh putting the pressure on them, but maybe it's not correct. Not sure. Lava coil is really bad. So now, see how my opponent attacks. They can't just go all out. 
because we can bounce. Yeah, so like they're just dead. So now I just go block here, take three, six, seven, bounce the thing, and they're dead. Yeah, you're dead, dude. Turn that to your hand. Attack with Oketra. Whoopsie daisy. I think we did a good job of like putting pressure on our opponent. Maybe that last attack was greedy. What are we coming next? We had a Glacial Fortress. All right, we got our first W of the league, which is nice. Hopefully we get him with a 3-2. Two more matches. This uh, this deck here is a donation deck list that you can uh, check out the Barrero Wrestling. Barrero Brothers Wrestling. Uh, give me one second. I have to go get my go get a glass of water. We get the no land heater. Yep, we don't have. This is a this is a standard stream. This is a Magic Online stream here. Um, I'm gonna keep. I don't really want to go any further down than this. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. A black land. Nice. That was a great draw. That puts us on curve. Are we playing against like a Judith deck? Ooh. This is probably a bad matchup. Well, that was a nice draw. Because I can't kill these little dumb things. Yeah, we are almost up to 200. Yeah, I would say, hopefully they just cast the feather. Then I get to deputy it and they don't kill my dude. That's what I'm hoping happens. But this thing's probably gonna, I'm, this seems like a rough matchup for the home team. I'm gonna grab some water. Deputy, yeah, I don't think so. There's call. I feel like defiant strike is really bad. I'm gonna like let this go. Like I, don't know, I might get. Basically, there are a lot of things that are just really bad for me. All right, we're gonna kill that, and we're gonna hope they don't have a way to kill my deputy, which is like. Serious wishful thinking. We just hope. Maybe their whole hand sucks. So I actually think I can block 1-3 on 1-3. 
I don't know of many things that will give this plus two power. Yeah. That gives it the that gives it plus two power. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Can I race this guy? Put a card on top, put a card on top. Oh, they scrying. They just put a card on top. I kind of want to frill Mystic, my opponent. And I think I'm going to just attack with the Growth Chamber Guardian and run this block back the same way. Shrine was the untapped land when I blocked. Night of Autumn is a really good card to race with. Oh shoot, they recast it. Right, this doesn't go, you may cast it. So go, okay. So it goes on the stack. Whew. Thank God that worked like I didn't think it was because I wasn't thinking. Yes, then I'm gonna try to eat this thing. Come on. What are the odds this work? Slim to none? Enough to concede. All right. Go team. Okay. So against this deck, Baffling End's got to be good. Deputy Detention's like the best we got. Um, They can just beat Alira. I feel like. Cards that are kind of clunky. Probably this Vivian. We could board Frilled Mystic out for the exact same reason we boarded out against Mono Red. Because all because you have to be aggressive and all of their spells are like super cheap. So it's hard. Even though we caught them there, it's hard to catch. Teferi's nice to rebound. Dovin's Veto. Again, we're bringing in like Negate to counter one and two mana cards, which kind of suck. I mean, we could bring Lyra in because it at least races. Right? Like, it's not going to block. Like, it's probably not going to block anything once it gets going. But the fact that we can race with it is probably nice. Like, the Ketra also we can race with. We don't want that many fives. These probably aren't that good either. Maybe we just want to set our deck up with to race. Like, you can have, like, early starts plus like top end pressure and like some life gain to swing races question mark because like if i just go like growth can growth chamber guardian into like night of autumn into like five drop that beats now nah, this is probably being able to bounce some of these things is probably being pretty good for us this one i'm going to get rid of Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, I'm going to do this. I don't know if this is correct, but I think I'm just going to try to set up, like, a race. You know, where we gain life and can chump block. I got to toss this back. I think this hand's too slow. No acceleration. I'm going to toss this one back. All right, all right, we're gonna scoop it up, move to the game three. All right, 
submit deck. <clears throat> that was just like, maybe I could have kept my seven, but I think on the draw, keeping a hand with no acceleration is just a way to get myself in trouble. All right, we have some acceleration. So I'm gonna keep this and lead on Glacial Fortress. And then go Glacial Fortress into Druid. Then maybe I have the opportunity to Teferi something. Like if they play the 1-3, I can just bounce it. I certainly hope I boarded in all my deputies. Did I zone out on that? No. Great. Love it when I don't zone out. Which isn't often. Don't be the haster. Ducatli. That's annoying, but okay. So let's just bounce this. Uh, white, blue. This is just to kind of gain some tempo. Ooh. Now we can Hydroid Crassus for three next turn, which is pretty big. Or Hydroid Crassus for four, which makes it a four drop. We draw two cards. That might be just worse than Growth Chamber Guardianing. Guardian or I can just like level up Inc Incubation Druid and then play a Growth Chamber Guardian, which is probably what I'm gonna do. This card seems odd. The only card I have that ETBs is like Filled Mystic. I do get blown out by a shock. So I'm just, I'm just gonna play in such a way where I don't get blown out by shock, I think. And I'm just gonna go like this. Play a tap land. Then I might upkeep Growth Chamber Guardian, but I think I'm just gonna like hold off, do it at the end of the turn. A feather here is pretty annoying. Yep. Don't attack, opponent. Please don't attack. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right. The thing is, is, like, I'm not even sure that my opponent was going to win, was going to lose that game. Like, that feather. That feather would have cleaned my clock. So, I don't know. I was like, oh no, opponent, please don't do it. Please don't do it. And then they did it. All right, last match of the night. Um, I like this deck. It's hard to play, it's hard to sideboard with. So I'm definitely gonna have to like grind some more with it. Try to maybe work. Watch some content. I know Andrea Minguchi streamed with it yesterday, so I might go watch that. Definitely going to read what uh, Harlan and Rudy write about the deck. So. Why Darby streamed with it earlier? Okay. So I have plenty of people to watch. And like I was talking about earlier, I think this deck is also like a hole in my game in Magic. Like I struggle, like I used to be really good at playing these green range decks and I'm not very good at them anymore. So he played what, uh, he basically played what, um, what Ginger tweeted out. Yeah, just like explore dudes, no flash stuff. Hmm. All right, sounds pretty good. Reading pool into, God, how sweet would it be if my opponent played a land elf on the first turn of the game? 
And I could just like bounce their land war elf and draw a card. That doesn't appear like what's gonna happen. I'm gonna bounce that and draw a card though. Okay, so play this. I would assume this matchup's probably not great either. Yeah. Though Teferi stops the dive down shenanigans, so I'm actually just gonna be able to like kill this whatever my opponent plays with this knight of this deputy tension, which is sweet. Plus play this. And it might be aggressive to do that, but maybe there's a point later in the game where I can, like, I don't know, do some other shenanigans. Like, if they just play that, then I feel kind of stupid. I think I've been too aggressive with these. Well, that was a nice draw. So I'm going to go plus. And then I guess I just minus on that thing I mean maybe this is I'm kind of just time walking my opponent while drawing a card all right we hit a we hit a GCG I like this card a lot this is one of my favorite cards in the deck it plays well with the deck too I thought this deck was gonna be really sweet when the set was spoiled, and it was just kind of like a it was kind of like medium. So I get a free attack in here with this growth chamber guardian, because I would gladly trade. I guess I also could have played my Vivian. So one, two, three. I should have thought about this more. I'm, I'm playing too fast. I think I'm going to pump this and then play another one, play a tap land. So I'll pass through here. Yeah, I could have done that. But I think I kind of want to turn the heat up a little bit. But I don't know if that's, you know, actually great. Because my opponent gets this Teferi off and then their whole hand opens up. Which one are you doing here? Are you tapping down this one? Sure. Um, I will attack with. I can actually attack with this too. Well, now because they could. This is a free point of damage. I guess I'm racing. No, I should hold this back to block this because I, I didn't play Vivian. I want to just keep playing and making, and I don't know if this is right to do, but I, can, I just want to keep doing this. I guess if they have another trickster, this kind of like throws me off a lot. Just keep coming with them. All right, retort, play this tapped, pass turn. Yeah, protecting Teferi here was super important. So like, I should have just not deputy this Siren Storm Tamer. Yeah, Terramander would be a problem. 
Obsession is annoying, but like, I don't even know if my Night of Autumn is going to blow that up or if I'm just going to start attacking, like, just keep cracking them with four, with, you know, with bigger creatures. So I'm going to start by attacking. Block this. Is the one damage worth? What's the one damage doing for me? I guess it makes it still a four power creature plus the deputy is lethal next turn. So I'm going to attack with it. Virginia needs everything. Okay. All right. I would rather have my knight resolved in this Vivian, I think, at this point, because we're just racing. So I'm going to play this. I guess I could have just attacked with Lana Elf too, because then any one of the X-1s is lethal. So they have a wizard's retort. I'm just going to play out everything. And I think I'm just going to gain life with this because the body, like, I already have, like, enough creatures. Like, I'm going wide enough to where the size of this doesn't matter. It just matters that it's on the battlefield. And, it, like, the life points might buy me a turn. I don't know. Then we're just gonna hit right click attack with all. And my opponent. I should have definitely attacked with Lanor Elf last turn because if I attack with Lanor Elf, then, then all of my creatures, but then any one of my creatures is lethal. Oh, that's not bad. So tap down this. Two blockers. They go double tap. They tap these two. And then they still get across. So we're just going to attack with everything. All right. Tap a GCG. You got another one? I think my opponent's dead on the board. I guess they're not 100% dead. Yeah, see, my, my attack last turn is getting, is getting back to me. So if I attack with everything, they go block, block, block. These two die. Is it better just to play Crassus now? Now I just want to play Hydroid Crassus because it's just a massive trampler that gets through. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Crassus was a nice draw this turn. Okay. Three mana colors. I did not know that. I knew there were Magic Online tricks to playing this deck, or to playing just in general. needs a lot in order to keep me keep from dying here and it might have been right for them to they should have trickstered my upkeep I think yeah I don't know all the moto uh, tap tricks 
Okay, that falls off. That's a good sign for us. Okay, so let's go to combat again. It's the fourth trickster. One, two, three, four, five, six. God, we're so punished by our stupid um, mess up with the uh, not attacking with Lanor Elf that one turn. Okay. I think I just play Oketra. They can counter it, but like if they have a counter spell, then they're, they're down to not too much. We can still level up the Druid. Yeah, not not attacking with that um, catcher got me here, or not talking to Lana Wealth. It'd be dead a few times over. No, I should turn off auto yields because I want to level this up at the end of the turn. Plays Island. Curious obsession on that. Okay, so I need help. They have no more tricksters. Okay, so we might decide similar to like mono red against this deck. I probably want my deputies because I can't actually kill them. Baffling Ed's good. I don't really know if Knight of Autumn's good. I don't know if Time Wipe's good. Lyra is probably good. I don't think I want to be playing a Dovin's Veto game against my opponent. I don't think these Vivians are that good. Though Vivian, having a flash thing to play into my opponent is pretty solid. We definitely don't want these Oketras. Probably don't want the Frilled Mystics for the same reason. Because we don't want them against Mono Red. Yep. Um, I'm in my last match, so if I win, we're done. If I win, probably 10 to 30 minutes. I kind of want to bring in these Knight of Autumns just to be able to like set up a race, kind of like we did that last that last game. And I might cut one of these for a time wipe. Oh, I got these all mixed up here. Cut this for a time wipe. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. I don't know if this is correct or not. This is just kind of what I'm thinking. I'm boarding like similar to mono red, but like they go bigger a little bit. So having a lot of removal might be good. All right, we gotta keep this, I think. Like having, if we draw a War Elf, this hand's sweet. If we don't draw a War Elf, this hand's not that good, but don't play a one drop. Nice, we drew a War Elf, nice. Okay. So now we can deal with their first threat. That's okay. All right, let's just play a tapped land and pass. Excuse me. I want to get rid of this Terramander. That's okay. Oh, I can get rid of two Tricksters. Nice. All right, let's get rid of the Tricksters. Let's get tricky with it. Oh, they, the scoop shame to the Deputy of Detention. All right. 
I did a 3-2 after starting 0-2. Always feels good. Always feels good. Let's open up our pity chest. See what we get. Nothing. Nothing really cool. So let's pull the deck up here. I like this deck. I think it's a deck that I definitely want to keep playing and I want to get good with this deck because I think a deck like this is just going to help me where I struggle at magic and going to make me just better at it. So um, I'm going to be done streaming for tonight. I will be done for a little while as I'll be heading over up to Vermont for a wedding. So keep your donations coming in, please. I have two decks left in the queue, um, two legacy decks. So if you want to see your decks played, just send it in there, whatever it is. I'll give it a try. The Barrero's information will be in the description below in the YouTube video. We want to get to $500 this month. So, you know, help help out two uh, people that are in the Magic community that are looking to wrestle for their country. So I hope everyone has a great rest of their night, and I will see you all next time.